Hello and welcome back to another episode of Destruction Only Challenge! Today, at least at the time of this recording, Pure Fiction is finally out! If you see here, I haven't actually unlocked MOC yet. I wanted to wait for Xue Yi to be released so that I can have at least one, you know, complete team before challenging Memory of Chaos. As a reminder, I have all of the released destruction characters except for Clara because she she just won't come home. <laughs> um, for some reason, Yan Qing loves to be on my account. I don't know why, but now I have him and his light cone, which is insane. I'm actually not done building Xie Yi yet. Now she is level 80. I maxed out her levels for her light cone. I put her on under the blue sky for now. Now this is the main problem. I can't level her up yet because because of this. I haven't unlocked the Echo of War yet. I have to do Ram May's quest first. So let me just do that real quick. I'll be back to you guys in a few minutes. I don't know it. If it's the same in other dubs, I haven't actually watched people play the this quest. But she said Qingaida in place of our name, which usually translates to dear D E A R. So I'm I'm pretty curious. What does she call us with in other dubs? Okay, I, I can't feel sad for it. I just I just want to laugh hearing its voice. A chest. This is so creepy. There's something there. Oh, you're here. Let's check the visitor records first. Oh, the visitor records first. Whoa, whoa, who is this? Man of plaster head. Oh. Oh, it's a Dr. Ratio. So uh, I kind of underestimated the length of Run Maze Quest. It ends up taking like several hours for me to do. And I didn't even end up defeating the boss. Like. I'm actually surprised to see that I lost a few times. Oh dear. Am I supposed to die here? I'm not right. Alright, so um, it's been a day actually um, of me like farming and stuff. I still don't have the best relics for him yet. But I just put on a crit rate body piece on him switch the rope for an energy regen rope um i do hope that that would help and also for Kalos, i upgraded his traces this one i exchanges for a crit damage body piece again most of them are still the same oh, except for this i give her an attack for some rope but i still can't level it up to max yet we're going to try and fight the bug. Yeah, no, there's no way I'm gonna win without Jing Yu here. Alright, uh. <sighs> That was that was close though. That was close. Maybe if I just do um maybe if I just do this buff increase max HP and do some crit rate. Yeah, I think we can do this. 
it was close it was close it was like just a bit more you <laughs> 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 So just a bit more. Wait, the hunt survives? Okay, thank you. I did it! Oh my god. After defeating the boss, I continued the quest. To be honest, I didn't expect it to have this continuation. With us being interrogated, because her puppet was attacked and disappeared, and there's also missing researchers, we went on to search our memories for clues, and to find our case with Dr. Ratio. There's also this cool introduction of the Inferno here. What happened? Hey,塔女士,单推快讯,插播一条紧急新闻,插播一条紧急新闻。心间诸神离世一俗无心顾及渺渺众生唯有复创的恩主得领诸节目与毁灭尽管逃吧无论逃往何处泯灭成is that wait if i'm not mistaken in the um 1.6 special program there were like slideshow of people showing up isn't that duke inferno if he's actually destruction oh my god that would be so cool we investigate the missing researcher case with dr ratio after Asta got kidnapped and we found out that it was a face flame that is being used to cause all this chaos, which I had figured out at the beginning, by the way. <laughs> face flame, maybe? Skrulum goes on to have the face flame in the space station, while we, as Dr. Ratio, go to catch her. We got it cornered and fought the monsters it summoned. After that, Asta and the other missing researchers are safe. Oh, that was a long quest. Um, I didn't expect it to be so long, actually. I did spend some Cherbus power to farm some materials for Xue Yi. Um, I know that it's not enough, but I think it's usable to at least unlock these ones i think i don't have yeah i don't have enough for this so i'll leave that at level seven but let's just upgrade this oh 
神王宣旨，不必奉行。Alright, at least we've unlocked all of these. Okay, enough of the one hour intro. Let's finally do MOC and Pure Fiction. Let's go to the parlor car. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. I'm like excited but nervous at the same time. <laughs> Okay, that's done. Next. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. We got more of these. And if I get more of these, I can upgrade my relics now. All right. Let's claim this. And now, memory of chaos. We're here. Oh, again, um, I'm just going to say this. I'm not expecting to go very far into memory of chaos. It's just the fact that um, support really does matter in this game and also the fact that i haven't max leveled my traces and relic set so <clears throat> but i guess this will be a good first foray into the memory of chaos now let's do this i did fine on the first stage of moc jing liu and blade carried me through it fast <laughs> Two stars, alright. The second one though is a bit rough. I lost a few times before I cleared it, also with two stars. Oh, nice. In the third one, a lot of my characters almost died, and Jing Liu did actually die there, but thankfully, I can clear it in one go. Nice. Whew. Stage 4 though is where I have to stop, unfortunately, as I keep losing. <laughs> and so, I moved on to pure fiction. As you see here on screen, there are four stages. The objective here is to collect points within a certain number of turns. The minimum to clear a stage is 30k, but our goal is obviously the highest one at 60. Now, pure friction, like a mosi, does reset every few weeks. I think they do it every six weeks, if I recall correctly. So, in this particular cycle, I see that these stages are practically made for characters that can attack multiple enemies simultaneously. So, Erdition characters like Herda or Himiko, Arakan will be very good. If you have Argenti, I think you would have a lot of fun doing this. In the first stage, I did quite well, actually, scoring a 71k. Jing Liu, Tan Hong, and Blade is absolutely smashing it here. And Chase Ultimate. Fantastic at breaking those shields. Nice. And the second one, I did pretty okay at 53k. I do wish that we did reach 60k, but hey, 53k is not bad. Fifty-three. All right, that's not bad. Now the third and the fourth one, I scored at thirty k ish. 
The enemies on this stage are noticeably tankier than the ones at the previous stages. And with my characters mostly have low speed, I couldn't defeat a lot of enemies in such a short number of cycles. I think after I finish maxing all of my characters traces, I'll focus on getting their stats on all of their relics. Oh and also, we do get some star jays for every star we have. So, for fiction, if you guys have unlocked it, I'd say it's a good source of some little extra gacha funds if you're just missing a little bit of star jades to do a pull. And that's all for today. We've done Run May's quest. We met Rame and Dr. Ratio. We leveled up Shay's traces, unlocked MOC, did some stages of MOC, and also did all of Pure Fiction stages for the first time. All in all, I think this is a very productive episode we have here. In the next episode, I think we're going to catch up on events again. There's quite a lot that I haven't done, especially this cute critter one. And I did start on the Foxion Tail, the one with Huohua and Guinaifen, but it is a bit long. So yeah, I'm looking forward to finishing that. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe to see more of my videos. See you in the next one. Bye bye.